Locking your keys inside the car sucks. In this video, I'm going to unlock three different vehicles using different methods and tools to help you figure out what method works best for your car. First, make sure you have proof it is your car or whoever you're helping can prove it is their car. Check every door, window, trunk or tailgate, and glass. You just might get lucky. Our first vehicle has a vertical knob on top of the door panel and the most accessible tool you're most likely to have on you is a shoelace or a string. Make sure it is long enough to cover the window diagonally. Step number one, slide the string in through the top corner of the door. Tip. Now when you go to fit the string in, you might run into weather stripping and rubber molding that doesn't let you get past it. So use a thin object to guide the string in over the rubber molding. Step number two, once the string is inside, move it to one side of the window and make a slip knot. Here is a better view of how to make one. Basically, it's like tying your shoe. You pull on one side, it tightens your knot. You pull on the other side, it tightens your loop. Now, pull the slip knot into the window area and try to fit it over the knob. Here's a tip. If your loop is pointing away from the knob, you can twist the string slide the twisted part into the window area and then pull back to make the loop point in the right direction like this once you put the loop over the knob pull the string ends apart to tie the knot and pull up and there we go the first car is unlocked next tool we can use is a wire hanger or any long wire you can find very helpful tool you can use it in many different applications. Unwind the hanger and straighten it out, leaving a hook on one end. Now let's take a closer look at our knob. All it really is, is just a rod going down to the latching mechanism. So what I'm gonna do is let the hook down between the window and the weather stripping which I do recommend removing to get a better visual of what's inside the door. Catch the rod or the part of the latching mechanism it is attached to and pull up and the door is unlocked. Another useful tool is a Slim Jim. Basic concept, pull on one side and push on the other to navigate the loop that you would slide over a vertical knob. Same basic steps. You may have to pry the door a little bit, slide the Slim Jim down, fit it over the knob, and pull up. I personally don't really care for this tool. I think it has very limited application. However, the door is unlocked. And let's move on to the second vehicle. This vehicle does not have a vertical knob. The locking knob moves horizontally and is significantly harder to get to. But take note, pulling the door handle unlocks the door and we also have a manual window which could be used to our advantage. And now again, let's take a closer look at our locking knob. All it is, is just another rod that goes to the latching mechanism, moving horizontally instead of vertically. Here, I took the latching mechanism out of the door so you can see that there is a black piece moving up and down as I move the rod back and forth. So all we need to do is pull up on it and the door will be unlocked. While I'm trying to catch the mechanism, I wanted to mention that your wiper blades, except curved ones, have metal rods in them that you can use for this method. Just pull the blade end down to get them exposed. You may have to use pliers to pull one out, bend it to make a hook and you're ready to go. Now back to our door. I finally caught the mechanism and all I need to do is pull up and the second car is unlocked. Now, since the inside handle unlocks the door, we can try to utilize that tool. 
let's grab the other end of our wire hanger and make a loop about two finger in size. Make sure to twist it a few times so that it doesn't unwind when you pull on it. Next, try the top corner of the door and fit a wedge in it. I am using a small ice scraper to get it started and a wooden wedge. You can use a door stop or some wooden kitchenware like spatulas and such. Try not to use screwdrivers as they will damage your paint. Basically, you're just trying to create an opening just big enough to fit in your wire. Once the wire is in, throw the loop over the handle. And here I want to share another tip with you. Once you're on the handle, bring the wire down so that you're pulling straight back instead of half up and half back. And there we go sweet sound of the door finally opening and let me play this one more time and finally our third and most difficult car it has no vertical knob it does have a lock unlock button but pretty hard to get to the locking tab is cone shaped and the door handle does not unlock the door pretty tricky on top of it it has cables instead of rods so nothing to really grab onto so the easiest thing to do here is to use an actual lockout toolkit used by professionals which consists of a long reach tool, inflatable bag, and a wedge tool. Since this door doesn't have a metal frame around the glass, I'm going to use the inflatable bag. Wedge it in, inflate it, give yourself some room to fit the metal rod through. Don't pry it more than you have to. You don't want to shatter the glass, obviously. Then just fit in the rod, and here you have two options. You can either push the unlock button or turn the locking knob. Now, while I'm trying to get it unlocked, I wanted to mention, even though most of you probably don't have a toolkit like this handy, you can try to imitate it with something like an antenna or a hood prop rod, from another car of course. I've seen people use golf clubs, the bottom line is, there are options, so don't get discouraged and use your imagination. And there we go, our third car is unlocked. Now I am going to try to turn the locking knob. Thanks to the rubber tip, it takes no time to execute. And again, that sweet sound of the door opening. You can also use this tool to open manual windows, push locking tabs, and pull on door handles. Now this should be enough for one video. If it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. In the next video, I'm going to talk more about unlocking this Subaru and other cars using a less conventional approach and about preventing yourself from being locked out. Thank you for watching, good luck, and take care.